most people in America from with what is and isn't their lawful right to utilize from someone else's life. And most people in America also are very familiar with what is and isn't okay to do. My guess is that most people in America don't have a stalker. Do you? You see, a stalker is someone who is constantly harassing someone's life. A local police officer out of Fishers, Indiana, decided to stalk someone. But instead of using his entire resources of himself, he decided to spread it across the entire Fishers Police Force through the Noblesville Police Force. And they decided to take private medical information to stalk a man into oblivion. This is what police officers do. And then he decided to pass that information down to Marion County. Marion County black officers and black nurses decided to withdraw something from a man's account. In other words, they thought that Jesus Christ was in them when they thought they had rights to attack a person. The liars in the force are most definitely Major Blankton, Lieutenant Lackus, Lieutenant Green, Corporal Stinson, and a young recruit whose name is hard to remember, but A is the first letter of Andrew's particular name badge. And the other girl, that was a black officer, but the young woman who they used the most to deliver their food with, name is hard to remember. And even right now, while I can see the name badge in my mind, I can't seem to expound upon her name. But she was there all the time in the men's unit. You see, in that community, they use both male and female officers without any type of descriptor. When I would go to the medical room to take my shower, there was often a female nurse there, and she was not always a woman, Linda, who felt that every human being in that jail deserved to know about my medical rights. Nurse Linda was from an external service whose content I put out several times to the federal government. The foolishness of these officers is not recognizing that I could see the writing on the wall. Jesus had given me the prophetic information most of all, and I provided all that information to the Washington, D.C. office, the San Francisco office, and San Diego office of the up-and-coming Vice President of America, Kamala Harris. I pleaded with them because I had already talked to almost every office available to me, allegedly, through my cell phone. But the truth is, someone interfered through Google Voice with my calling across state line, which makes it a federal issue. The prevention of my access to a telephone could only be put in place by the illegalness of the police activity. Now, police here in this community of Champaign may not be thrilled with my responses, but they were not participants in my stalking on campus. Is not true. They absolutely were there on a regular basis. Is true. I also know that the smart campus police knew they could find something out by paying attention to my proximity to buildings and people. Hopefully, they did their job. You see, being a snitch for the police is a little bit different than being a discoverer for the military. A discoverer can point to the problems in a community. The discoverer lets them know where to look with their technology. Today when I was in the Dollar Tree with some of the money that a woman named Celeste gifted to my ministry who was obviously Catholic and she was surprised. I could tell she was Catholic. She provided our ministry $20 and that allowed us to provide ourselves some food solely for the day. Not more than that. I returned from that shopping experience with $2 and a receipt in my pocket only to find that the minute that I was outside the store, that $2 were gone. Now let's talk about the two ways in which that could disappear. One, you have a woman who works the register who knows how to palm the money and take it back while you're thinking you put it in your pocket. At the same time, you have such difficulty and congestion around the area of that register and the shopping carts and the other employees who like to pilfer in the night and play with an old homeless man like me, that it's very possible and likely that one of the other employees came around behind me or near me or a different player did and stole the money as I was putting it into my pocket. 
I now practically have a hole in my pants. Now, did Jesus just protect me from being stabbed by someone, or did some black bastard of Satan, no reference to the color of the person's skin here, decide to steal from a homeless man his final two dollars for a meal? The reality is I came outside, I desperately looked through my pockets, and I could not find my two dollars or my receipt. Now, if I say this, I can tell you what I observed at the counter was that every time I'm there, they always call their manager, their bitch on wheels V, to come up and to be around the area. And every time I hear that name, I'm concerned that while I'm shopping or in the lane, someone has come outside, put their hands in my things and broken things or stolen things. I'm often missing things because of that. Like right now, I'm trying to find the new spoons that I have and I've been resting in my tent this afternoon at God's request. The liars in a force would allow a little fat girl who used to work down at City Trends be fired because of her play of telling them about the pants I bought, the shorts I bought that day, and then she'd be the type that would come out at night with her black family, completely technically ethically so. I've never seen her with any white people, you know. I've only seen her around black people just like I saw her just outside the staple shop, walking back from the staple shop. Now, does she have a big brother that works here? Let's talk about the townies and how they do damage to other people who don't want them to draw near.